you are on top of the Empire State Building, and you decide to drop a penny from the observation deck. How much time will it take to hit the ground, assuming no air resistance? What is the max velocity, and how much kinetic energy does the penny have at the bottom of the drop? The givens are the height of the building of 381 meters, and the acceleration due to gravity of 9.8 meters per second per second. Let's first go over how acceleration works. Acceleration is the change in velocity over time. Velocity's units are meters per second, so acceleration units must be meters per second per second, or in other words, meters per second squared. Gravitation acceleration on Earth is equal to 9.8 meters per second per second. This means that every second that passes, the velocity changes by 9.8 meters per second. So if we were to take the time in this video in seconds and multiply by 9.8 meters per second per second, we would end up with the velocity at that time. Now let's solve for time. We can use the position formula of 1 half acceleration times time to the second power equals position. We are leaving velocity out of the formula due to the starting velocity being zero. After plugging in our numbers and rearranging the formula, we get time for the penny to fall to equal 8.818 seconds. Now let's solve for velocity. We can use our velocity equation of acceleration times time equals velocity. We will plug our total time of free fall of 8.818 seconds and we get a velocity of 86.416 meters per second. If you are like me and think an imperial, this is equal to about 215 miles per hour. Keep in mind we are ignoring air resistance in these calculations. This is about a quarter of the speed of sound. To finish off this video, let's solve for kinetic energy. We could use one of two formulas, one half mass times velocity squared, or mass times gravity times height. I have decided to go with one half mass times velocity squared. We need to find the mass of a penny. To do this, I used a scale and measured the mass of five pennies. Five pennies weigh about 0.013 kilograms. This means that each penny weighs about 0.0026 kilograms, or in other words, 2.6 grams. After plugging in the mass and final velocity of the penny into the kinetic energy equation, we are left with 9.71 joules of kinetic energy. If you were to be hit by the penny, it would be the equivalent of dropping 381 pennies from 1 meter on your foot, or 1 kilogram from 1 meter up. That concludes this video. Hopefully I earned a like, share, or subscription. If you have suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.